Hi. Yesterday I talked all about offhand options and the three main ones that are very good for your main hand weapon. Right now the best one in Valheim is the Mistwalker. Oh, I'll be doing a huge video about that in, in enough time. But I think everybody understands this thing is just a beast and not to be uh, reckoned with uh, if you're a seeker or anything like that. You wouldn't be, would you? No, of course not. Anyway, everybody knows that there is one beautiful supporting option that you can swap to if you're maining whatever melee weapon, probably Mistwalker, him and Awful, something like that, and that is the bow. Everybody knows the bow is a good swap ever since ye old uh, troll days when <laughs> scared shitless seeing your first troll like, what the hell is that thing and through the trees? Oh yes, the bow helped you out then, the bow helped you out uh, with the Elder, probably, and Modair, and Yalls, and everything like that. Bo helped you out. Now, people got very experienced, testing a bunch of stuff out, learning, and experimenting, and realized that sledges are actually also an incredible support option. I made a guide about every sledge. The link will be in the description. These things with their AoE that can go through barriers, like these built wall structures and all that. Like you can just crush enemies without even really trying. You just free kills and they are dungeon destroyers. Not only that, they're especially good for wily, tricky enemies like bats and ticks and seeker broods that gather up in groups. Really, really convenient for these sort of odd scenarios and you do be getting in these scenarios quite often. So, so, so sledges, you know, they're very, very nice, and people have recognized it, especially with the gorgeous-looking Demolisher. They want to make it, they want to experiment with it, and boom, it is a beauty. Now, what people don't really know as a really good supporting option as well, or maybe they're put off by its many quirks, is the Arbalest. Ah, yes, the slow-loading, tricky, self-knockback imposing weapon that takes forever to recharge, and seemingly everything I do interrupts the loading process... This annoying weapon actually has absurd convenience and burst damage, and it was hella cheap to make too, huh? Super interesting. This weapon, every single quirk that I just mentioned, can be mitigated, and you are just left with the absurd burst damage that is really good to open up pretty much any combat encounter with, except when... You're sneaking up on a soldier and you have Skull and Hottie or Krom to one-shot it. But if you're in the mid-range, you have this beautiful ranged weapon. Oh yes, that burst damage is obscene. Enough to get a one-shot sneak attack on the Yawl's weak spot. With the Carapace Bolt and good enough crossbow levels of course. But still, that is immense. You all have 1500 HP. That's... A ton of damage. Truly neuron activating. But it really is good in the Mistlands because you have a bunch of cleared mist areas. You can actually see things in advance. And of course, if you get to a certain amount of height, you will be able to see everything at that level, which means y'all are very easy to deal with. Now, the number one thing that's really easy to mitigate is the self imposed knockback. So, you're in the Mistlands, you don't want it to knock you off a certain area so that you can fall down and die from fall damage. No, you want to maintain your position and destroy the targets. Well, simply, uh, scout out your proper vantage point, and if you don't want it to knock you off, walk a little bit forward after each shot. Simple as that. Really, that's it. Sometimes in the Mistlands, you actually have certain areas where you want to be knocked to. So you use your terrain to your advantage by sniping and letting yourself be knocked off into cover. Boom, I have immediate cover. Really good for certain situations with y'all or maybe if there's a y'all plus some more enemies. Maybe you're sniping some Dverger for whatever reason and you want that uh, instant cover for rogues. Well, you can use the Arbalest for your advantage. And now... You can load in peace, step outside of your cover, or jump out when it's fully loaded. You don't have these problems with it resetting. And you can shoot your shot. Now, of course, the beautiful thing about the Arbalest loading 
Here, let's set up. Sneaking doesn't reset the process. And unlike bows, you can just fire a shot and you will go back into sneaking. Oh yes, it is a super convenient stealth opener. Now because stealth and burst damage go hand in hand, the devs made it this way so that it's just super convenient and works with its own synergies. Oh yes, truly wonderful. And I kind of wish the bow also had this little mechanic too. I don't care if you'd look really goofy, like hopping up and down like that silly animation. I think that would be hilarious. And I want it. It's very funny. Sometimes you are stealthy enough to where you're not DPS shooting with the bow. Specifically Huntsman Bow. 4 meter aggro radius on Huntsman Bow instead of other bows. 8 meters. I've talked about this a million times already. But it really is nice. For isolating targets. And uh, if it had that same animation I'd be grateful. But yeah, this the sneaking utility is so good. So, so good for guaranteeing huge openers if not one shots on y'alls huge openers if not one shots on seeker soldiers uh seekers one star seekers all of that basically setting yourself up for great success before you even have the chance to enter the melee range whether that be with the miss walker or the beautiful him and awful whatever melee weapon your preference honestly these two are just so so incredibly strong right now just the cream of the crop but still, you have your options. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Sometimes, you want to get your opener with the Arbalest. And then, if the all is getting a little too close, you don't think your loading time will be good enough, you can just swap to Spine Snap or whatever bow. Uh, you know, you can, there's a period of time where you have the Arbalest and you don't really have the Spine Snap yet. So it would be the Draugr Fang in that case. Pair it with frost arrows and just get your DPS in. Just make sure that y'all doesn't ping you with fireballs. That's just a good idea. Even if you have all the resistances in the world, it's a good idea. They, they're tricky. In some ways. The, the, no, the no look second shot. Y'all, no, I want you to uh, jerk your head and, and fire that second shot. That looks ridiculous. Firing that second shot like that. Uh, anyway, Arbalest. Super, super convenient. You just have to know how to make use of the quirks, and then you will be one-shotting dudes from range in no time. All right. I'll have a wonderful proper Arbalest guide coming soon enough with clips. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed my talk about supporting options and the most tricky of them, that being the Arbalest. You're going to have these three options on pretty much every build. Mages, you can go without the Demolisher because you have the Staff of Embers. Oh, the Staff of Embers. That guide is coming soon enough as well. That's going to be a long one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye!